Hey guys, uh, this is a, the introductory video for STAT 1800, Spring 2018. Uh, my name is Doug Darbro. I'm going to be your professor for this class. Um, just to let you in on a little secret, well, it's not really a secret, but it's uh, the way I approach things. Uh, I, I try to keep my online courses and my face-to-face -face classes uh, as close to each other as possible. Uh, so in the spirit of, uh, in a face-to-face -face class, the first thing that I would do the first day is I would uh, uh, go over the syllabus, let you know what to expect, uh, uh, introduce you to kind of to me and to the class policies. So, uh, you know, I, uh, you know, I'm going to do the, the same thing for the, for the online class. So guys, that's what we got going on. There's going to be a lot of things going on here. Uh, first of all, we're going to cover the syllabus. Uh, number two, I'm going to talk to you a little bit about um, my math lab, my stat lab, same thing. Uh, it's all part of a Pearson product under what we call the my lab uh, umbrella, I guess you would say. And, and then third thing uh, I want to talk to you about is Blackboard, you know, the, the format of the class. Now, again, in the spirit of trying to keep my on online courses the same, uh, or at least uh, as close to the same as my face-to-face -face classes, <coughs> Um, you, you know, I have uh, instructional videos. A lot of people are really uh, kind of leery of taking an online course because they think it's going to be, you know, so independent learning and they have to read the book and they have to figure all this stuff out and the professor's just out, out there, you know, wherever. That's not the way I do my classes. My classes, again, I have instructional videos. I teach things through the videos the same way I would teach it face-to-face. I tell the same corny jokes, the same silly stories. Uh, so uh, there's a lot of similarities. So uh, let's, let's go over this. I want to keep this as brief as possible, but, you know, we got a lot of stuff uh, to cover here. So guys, suck it up. Watch the, uh, watch the entire video. It's, it's very frustrating. I think, I'm a, I think I'm a nice guy. I think I'm <laughs> very patient. But uh, one thing that, uh, that really ticks me off is when, you know, two or three weeks, even 14, 15, 16 weeks into the semester, a student asks a question or has a concern that's been addressed in this video. And the reason they have the concern is he or she didn't watch the video. So, so that's, 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 very, uh, that's very frustrating for me. And it would be frustrating for you, too. Uh, you know, we want to know, uh, uh, you know, you want to know what's going what's gonna to happen uh, in this class. Or at least I would think you would. All right, gang, uh, top of the syllabus, uh, standard stuff. My office hours uh, that I'm going to highlight right there, uh, they're Tuesday, Thursday, Friday. I'm, I'm only on campus Monday and Wednesday. Uh, I have a drop-in policy in terms of office hours, but I do have a lot of meetings on the two days I'm on campus. So if you want to stop by, please do. I love seeing students. Uh, it's one of the things I really, really miss about the face-to-face -face classes. But uh, uh, stop by. But uh, office hours uh, are handled virtually. So what we can do is we can set up a Google Hangout session. We can do Adobe Connect. They're really, really easy to use. Uh, or uh, during those times, uh, I, I pretty much sit by the computer and answer emails uh, immediately. Now, guys, I answer emails almost immediately anyway. So there's really nothing that special about those times there. But, uh, but those times you can be guaranteed that I'm going to answer your emails as quickly as possible. <coughs> Guys, here's my email uh, account. It's uh, very, very important that we stay in touch. Um, you know, face-to-face, -face, I can just come in and, and tell you things, give you regular updates. Uh, this format, um, yeah, you know, we have to be able to stay in touch via email. Uh, and, and other ways that I'll talk about. Uh, guys, I've found that uh, finding my office is, is challenging for students. So because of that, I've included a map. So let's zoom in on that. Um, the best way to find my office is go to Massey Hall and attach to Massey Hall to the right, uh, you know, looking at the, from the front of Massey Hall is the administration building. My office is in the administration building. But guys, where I'm circling right there, there's a small door that you probably haven't noticed. Many students tell me they hadn't even noticed the door. But if you come down and go through that door and walk right across the hall, there's another door that leads into the math office suites. 
Guys, come in there. Ask anybody where I am. If nobody's around, I am the first office on the left. So, guys, hopefully that helps um, helps you uh, find me. And, guys, just stop by and say hello. Introduce yourself. I'd, I'd love to meet you guys. Uh, and, by the way, I, I don't think I said, this is for sections 90 and 91, teaching two sections. For the most part, they're taught the same way. So I didn't feel there was any reason to put up uh, two videos. Uh, catalog description, uh, that's just uh, <clears throat> stuff that uh, you know, I'm required to put. Uh, put uh, it's kind of the narrative of, of what I'm going to teach you. Uh, general education requirement, uh, this course uh, fulfills that, uh, that component. So when you, uh, when you finish this class successfully, you can check that box. Uh, ADA statement, uh, this doesn't apply as much for an online course as it does face-to-face, -face, um, just because of the nature, but uh, never, nevertheless, there are uh, quite a few accommodations that, that could apply. Um, so if there's anything that, uh, anything that falls under the ADA uh, compliance uh, policy, then uh, you, know, you know the game that you play. You, you bring... Um, uh, me a sheet of paper that outlines the accommodations, and guys, I'll do everything in my power to make sure those accommodations are uh, met. <clears throat> uh, computer access. This is, uh, to me, kind of one of those, it's almost a duh statement. Guys, it's an online course, so uh, you've got to have a regular, you've got to have access to a computer and uh, reliable internet service. Uh, your exam uh, is taken online. It's proctored online by a company called Examity. And uh, it's really important that you have a place where you can get reliable Internet service for, uh, for that um, uh, to take your exam. Uh, for example, I live in a rural area. I love where I live. I live on a lake, and, you know, it's, it's quiet and stuff. But, uh, you know, the downfall is uh, I don't have reliable Internet service here. So what I would have to do if I were taking this class as a student, I would have to make prior arrangements uh, to go somewhere else, maybe go to campus, maybe go to the library, maybe go to a friend's house, a parent's house, somewhere who has reliable Internet service. Um, trust me, for all the perks that you get for not having to come to class and sit through you know, five hours of lectures each week, I don't think it's too much for you to, 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 to ask of you to... Uh, to make arrangements to get reliable internet service when you uh, when you take your exam, uh, techn <clears throat> technology requirements. Uh, if you've talked to anyone that's had this class previously, not last semester but previous to that, for me, I've always required a Texas Instrument calculator. Uh, that's no longer required. What I use now is something called StatCrunch, which is a statistical software package uh, that's included in my Stat Lab. Uh, it mirrors the, the big boy, big girl statistical software packages like, uh, uh, like uh, SPSS and SAS and, and Jump, uh, you know, things that you would actually use when, if, if you do statistics out uh, in the so-called real world. Uh, scientific calculator. A lot of people download these to your phone, to their phones, uh, and that's fine. Just keep in mind that you can't use your phone on test. So if you've got your calculator on your phone, then you're going to have to make other arrangements. But guys, again, with just a little bit of thought, a little bit of preparation, you should easily be able to find someone who's got a scientific calculator. And by scientific, I don't mean a lot of fancy stuff. I mean, you know, multiply, divide, add, subtract, um, uh, square roots, just, just things of that nature. Anything we do in terms of st uh, crunching statistical numbers, numerical summaries and charts and graphs, we're going to use Stack Crunch. Now, Remind. Uh, guys, Remind's a, a program that um, I actually got from my daughter's volleyball coach and lacrosse coach. Uh, it, it's, it's really cool. Uh, it, it, you sign up for it. It's a texting program. I don't know your number. You don't know mine. But I can send text out to you, uh, and you'll get them through your phone. If you don't have a smartphone, you can get it through email. So, guys, this is a requirement. You are required to join Remind. And the reason I have found over teaching online courses over the past, uh, actually, actually, I think I've been teaching about five years. I've taught more online courses at Shawnee State University, except for the nursing program. 
than anyone else on, else on campus. And I've just found that Remind is so effective uh, in uh, allowing me to, to get information to my students very quickly. So guys, uh, if you're in Section 90, uh, do this. If you're in Section 91, do this. Um, so guys, you are required to join Remind. If you don't join Remind, I'm going to ultimately send you one of those little, uh, you know, ugly emails. Say, hey, what's up? Get to it. Uh, guys, you're not required to have a textbook. This is the information right here on the, on the text. Um, so you're not required to have a text, but you are required to have access to my stat lab, which includes the online version of the textbook, Business Statistics, by David Levine and others. So uh, to access my math lab, uh, and again, my math lab, my stat lab, it's all the same stuff. So MSL, MML, same stuff. Uh, you can type my stat, S-T-A-T, lab. You'll go the same place. Uh, so when you um, sign up for my stat lab, the first thing you got to do is you got to insert uh, uh, a course ID. So guys, depending on the section you're in, uh, enter the appropriate course ID. <clears throat> now guys, I'm going to demonstrate more in this video on... Uh, on, on my math lab, but uh, right now I just want you to know that it's also required. So uh, a couple of important notes sometimes, uh, financial aid, you know, is, is late, or uh, even m maybe you're just trying to fill the course out and see if it's something you want to do. Uh, you are entitled to a 14-day free trial course access option. And guys, I'll actually give you two of those. Don't give you three. Once you get two, uh, uh, then if you stay in the class, you've got to sign up for the, uh, the paid version. Because, um, you know, these people work very hard and they, they create this product and they deserve to be paid for it. But uh, uh, you're allowed two of these. And guys, with some really creative timing, uh, this could actually get you in to about five weeks in the class. So the first assignment's due, I think, Monday, uh, uh January the 16th, I believe, or so. I'll, we'll talk about that in just a second. So you could actually sign up for January the 15th, have all the videos watched before you sign up for it, uh, have all the instructional videos watched, uh, sign up for it, and then when it runs out, you know, wait about another week, before, and, and, you know, just uh, sign up for it before your, I guess it would be your third assignment then. So, so with some creativity, you could get out there quite a ways. Uh, now, if you do two 14-day free trial course options, you have to let me know so I can export that information, your grades and stuff, into your permanent account. Guys, number two is very frustrating. There's nothing I can do about it. <clears throat> I just want you to be aware that the grade you see on there, the overall percentage, may over or underestimate your grade. Uh, I do my best to keep the weights and the settings up to date and accurate, but sometimes my math lab does some wacky things behind the scenes that, that makes the grade you see inaccurate. So what will happen a lot of times is someone maybe will see like an 81 there, just as an example, and I'll go in and, and correct all the stuff that my stat lab has done, and then their grade will drop to a 78. And, they'll, and I'll get this email from them like, Dr. Darbo, my grade just dropped three points, and I didn't do anything. Why don't I have my 81? Well, your 81 wasn't right. Your 78, after I corrected things, was the right score. My stat lab was just overestimating in that case. And it's funny, I never hear from students who have like a, a 68, and I correct it, and it goes to an 81. And I never hear from them. So, uh, But if it, if it drops your grade, you know, you're going to think, well, what in the world happened? Well, I'm telling you right now, what happened? My stat lab sometimes over or underestimates your grade. Now, please keep in mind that at the end of the semester... I don't trust my stat lab, so I export all the grades out of my stat lab into Excel and, and, and sort of hand calculate uh, the grades so I get, um, uh, so I get uh, an accurate uh, uh, calculation. All right, gang, my stat labs. Here's kind of the format of the class, so getting to some important, important stuff right now. Uh, this is a, a schedule for the class, and what typically happens is 
The instructional videos are posted on Blackboard on Mondays by noon. Usually they're going to be a little earlier than that, but uh, they will be posted by noon. The corresponding My Stat Lab assignment <clears throat> that covers what's covered in the um, instructional videos is due the following Monday at 11 p.m. <clears throat> Guys, excuse me. Um, so um, let me get a cup of coffee here. So assignment number one, for example, the video will be... <clears throat> uh, Guys, hold on just a second. <clears throat> oh, allergies are working on me. Um, so assignment number one, the videos will be posted by January the 8th at noon, uh, which is the first day of uh, the spring semester. And that assignment is due one week later on Monday, January the 15th at 11 p.m. So guys, essentially you have uh, a week and... Uh, in, in what, 11 hours? So almost uh, seven and a half days to watch approximately four to five hours of videos, instructional videos, and submit your assignment. <clears throat> now something that's going to be hard for you to wrap your mind around, and I know it was hard for me and still is, this is a five-hour course. Uh, and, and I think we're just structured uh, because most of our classes are three hours. We're just structured for the work requirements for a three-hour course. Uh, again, it's a five-hour course. There's two extra hours. It's two-thirds more material, if you will. So, guys, uh, there's going to be a lot of stuff going on. It's a five-hour course, and for us to cover all the material that we have to cover, according to uh, the state, uh, who uh, actually pretty much tells us what we have to cover in this class, um, there's no way it could be done in less. In fact, I may argue that it should be a six-hour course. But um, anyway, it's not. So, so guys, keep in mind, it's a five-hour course. You're getting five hours credit. So um, it's a lot more instruction videos than you're maybe used to in a three-hour course. Uh, midterm exam, uh, let's talk about that a little bit. <clears throat> uh, it might be a little scary that your midterm exam is going to take from Wednesday, February 28th, 8 a.m., to Friday, March 2nd, 5 p.m. That's a pretty long midterm, isn't it? Uh, well, that's not what it means. What it means is from Wednesday, February 28th at 8 a.m. until Friday, Feb uh, March 2nd at 5 p.m., you have to sign up with Examinate to take your online exam. Okay? So uh, you'll sign up for a two-hour block. If you need three, hour block, three hours, then you know, they'll stay with you. But uh, typically, most students finish it in about 90 minutes to, to two hours. So that's what I was talking about earlier. You know, if you have an ADA accommodation that you get extended time on your test, well, this is one place uh, that I was referencing in an online course that is different than a face-to-face -face course. Uh, you, you, you know, the, the proctor will stay there with you um, well, within reason uh, as long as needed. But if you still feel more comfortable taking in this, uh, your exam in the Student Success Center, then just let me know that, and uh, we'll, we'll make that happen. So, guys, you can see uh, there's going to be uh, 15 assignments, uh, final exam, same thing, uh, between uh, May 2nd and May 4th. Uh, sign up for a two-hour block uh, to take your exam. And, guys, more uh, information will be given. I don't know why this is off. Uh, <clears throat> more information will be given on... Uh, uh, how to use Examity as uh, the final exam or as the midterm gets closer. All right, a couple of notes. Uh, there's a 50% penalty that's assessed on work uh, on your assignments that is submitted after the due date. Uh, the good news is this penalty only applies uh, uh, for questions that are submitted late. So, for example, if there's a 10-question assignment, Let's say you get eight questions in on time, but you still have two questions that you want to work on uh, after the due date, then the 50% penalty only applies uh, to the questions that were submitted late. Uh, number two, uh, again, uh, exams are proctored by examinee. Uh, note number three, assignments one through eight cannot be submitted after the midterm. And... Uh, Guys, next thing, supplemental instructor. I'm still working on that, but uh, I'm thinking uh, 
Let's see, your assignments are due on Monday, so um, I'm, I'm thinking probably Mondays from like 4 to 8 in the math lab, you will have a supplemental instructor <coughs> uh, who will uh, be available for help if you're on campus. Um, so again, more information probably later in the week on that. So guys, what are you required to do? What, uh, what's going on with this class? Uh, first of all, to be successful, you must watch three to four hours of instructional videos per week. Guys, you need to submit your assignment, uh, assignments on time. And guys, you got to check your email regularly. I got no way to get in touch with you, to, to, to pass important information to you other than remind and your email. So check your, I should say, check your phone and email regularly because your phone uh, is the way you're going to get uh, remind. Uh, your uh, final grade is calculated. Uh, exam one, exam two are thirty-seven and a half percent each, and your my math lab assignments and sneaky quizzes. All right, let's talk about these sneaky quizzes, guys. This is <clears throat> probably going to be six or seven. They're twenty-five points each. Uh, they are embedded in the uh, instructional videos, and essentially they're put there to encourage you to thoroughly watch the videos because some people just uh, you know some people just they're kind of like a lightning rod they, <clears throat> they they search for the easiest way to kind of get grounded <coughs> and um, uh, so what I do is I put just goofy things I mean it's uh, they're, they're never really or, or typically they're not statistics related maybe a couple of them may be but um, the, the, I, I can try to think about uh, think of one of them. Okay, I'll tell you one. Uh, one, I, I'm an avid scuba diver. I love uh, to scuba dive. And um, I try to get away three or four times a year. Well, one, one instructional video, I kind of got on a tangent talking about uh, a, a, scuba, a dive that I just completed in, uh, in Puerto Vallarta. And it was last fall when I was teaching this class. And uh, I said, okay, sneaky quiz number three or whatever it was. Email me by this date and time and just say Dr. Darbro's favorite hobby is uh, scuba diving. And you send, people send that and they got 25 out of 25. Some people didn't watch the videos and they look on my stat lab and they see this, this quiz three pop up titled scuba diving and they're confused. Well, they're confused because they didn't watch the videos like uh, I, I'm telling you right now is a requirement. So... <clears throat> so guys, sneaky quizzes, there's, they're going to be in the, uh, embedded in the videos. I'll guarantee you, let me, just between you and me, because if you're listening, you're, you, you know, here's what's going to happen. Probably for, even, well, we've got sneaky quiz zero, as you see at the bottom of the page. Somewhere along the line, I'm going to get a student that will email. Oh, I, oh, what do you mean quiz? I didn't see a quiz. How do I submit quizzes? Because they didn't watch the introductory video. So they're going to be slammed right there uh, and, and indicted just because they don't know about the sneaky quizzes. So guys, good for you. You're still here, so you know. Uh, grading scale, uh, yeah, it's pretty standard. Uh, I do one thing. I figure as long as you get 50% uh, or above, you deserve to pass the class. So I have kind of a, a wide margin for D minuses below 50%, uh, so actually it would be 49.4% and lower, uh, you, you flunk the class. <clears throat> so speaking of sneaky quiz, uh, sneaky quiz zero, uh, it's worth 25 points. Uh, it needs to be sent to me by Monday, January 15th at 11 p.m. The only way I will accept this late is if you add the course after uh, January the 15th. So to get your full credit, all you have to do is send an email to me right there. Uh, number one, your name and preferred email address. Number two, tell me something interesting about you. Number three and number four, type word for word these, uh, uh, these policies, these agreement. So guys, when you, somebody, and I guarantee you, will come up just before the midterm, and they're like, well, I didn't know we had to use Examity. 
And I'll go back to sneaky quiz number zero, and I'll say, well, you typed it, <laughs> it's a, so you must have. So it's, it's pretty much it's kind of a contract between you and me. So guys, get that to me by January 15th. Uh, you'll start out with an easy A, and um, you'll get the easiest 25 points uh, in the history of taking business statistics. <clears throat> All right, gang, what's going to happen? What's, gonna, what's, gonna, uh, what's everything going to look like? Here is <clears throat> my Blackboard shell for my STAT 1800 in the fall 2017. So you can see at the top you have my information, then you have a, uh, a folder for the syllabus and intro video where this will be posted. Uh, you have uh, my math lab. Uh, I'll show you that in just a second. There are handouts that go with the videos. There are data sets that go with the videos. And uh, now this is after the semester is done. <clears throat> so, uh, um, you know, what you'll see, you'll just see these week by week. Uh, I don't post all the videos. Uh, I just post the videos by uh, week by week. So uh, just to give you an example, instructional videos for the first week. Uh, you'll notice there's a PowerPoint you can follow along, and there's video number one, uh, defining and collecting data. So the first week, you only have one instructional video, but, and, I re and, and I kind of back off a little bit because, uh, you know, you've got a lot going on with trying to learn the format of the class and get signed up with my stat lab and uh, things of that nature. Now, <clears throat> let's talk about my math lab. <clears throat> uh, my math lab uh, is real easy to sign up if you'll just follow these um, these instructions, and they are provided to you uh, under content in the My Math Lab folder. If you're interested in getting a temporary access code, then there's a video I've posted, very short one. I think it's only four or five minutes, so you can watch the video, and it's a guide for uh, uh, you know. Uh, you know that the, the process of getting a temporary access code all right so guys uh, you'll notice on your uh, <clears throat> blackboard shell you've got access to my stat lab so if i come over here and click that it's going to open up hopefully as unreliable as my internet service is uh, who knows Okay, finally. So, guys, I'm going to sign in. <clears throat> Sorry for the snail pace, but, man, there's nothing I can do about it. Wow. <laughs> yeah, this is fun. <clears throat> well, this is wonderful. <clears throat> well, fi guys, finally. So let's sign in. This is a pretty good, uh, I'm kind of glad this happened in a way when I'm really not glad it happened. But, uh, you know, stuff happens. So this is a really good reason that, uh, you know, you should, uh, you should start your assignments early, not wait till the last second. You know, because things like this happen. And guys, you know, if you wait till the last second this happens, then you just submit your assignment and uh, you, you lose 50%. All right, guys, sign in. Uh, I've already got everything saved. Notice something important. Your username doesn't even have to be a full email account. You know, I just used ddarbro at Shawnee. I didn't even put the .edu on there. In fact, your username doesn't even have to be your Shawnee account. It can be, uh, you know, Gmail. It can be Yahoo, whatever. Uh, uh, just uh, what I recommend is that you use the email account that you check most regularly. So sign in. This should be fun. And let me show you what it looked like uh, for my fall term. So 
So guys, typically when you go here, you're going to be worried about two things. You're going to have Stack Crunch, which is our statistical software program, but I'll go over that in a video the second week. But you're typically going to um, you're typically going to go to either homework or quizzes and tests if you're taking a test or your grade book. Go to your grade book and see how you're doing. Go to your homework and submit your homework assignments. So if I click homework, you can see there's a lot of assignments that are past due because I've already passed the class. I don't need to do them. Uh, I just enroll as a, an instructor. So when it comes time to do the assignment, just click it. It's probably not going to let us do it because it's past due. Uh, but just click it and, uh, and take off. And see, here's a demo. Uh, so different things uh, you'll see throughout the semester. Guys, that's about all I got. I, try, I wanted to keep this, um, this brief, but uh, there's just a lot to cover uh, uh, this first week. So, guys, if anything isn't clear, don't hesitate to, um, to, uh, to, to contact me. Uh, and by the way, let me show you. I have Facebook. Um, they say it's for old people. Uh, let me show you who I am in case you see me on campus. Um, oh, I'm a huge Kentucky fan, so... Uh, there's my, my wife and my kids. My daughters are both, uh, in fact, tomorrow's my, this daughter, I'm certain it's her birthday, so they'll both be 14. Um, they're both adopted from China. So uh, somebody said my wife looks Asian. My wife's not Asian. Uh, so there I am. Um, so guys, if you see me on campus, say hello. And um, so guys, that's all I got. Um, I look forward to working with you in this class. Thanks for taking my class. Um, uh, and, uh, you know, I hope, uh, hope it works out well for you. And it will if you just do the simple stuff. Uh, you got to watch the videos. You got to stay in touch. You got to uh, submit your assignments on time. And you have to take your midterm exams uh, using Examity. So, guys, I'm out of here. Take care.